Found it. Like right at the lights. Right yeah, see? It's like right above that red dot out there. This helps slows the, the first stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere and reduces the loads on the vehicle. After that burn uh, starts, ends, and is confirmed successful, we get ready for our final burn, the landing burn. It's a single center engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship safely. Can you see it? Yeah. As a reminder, we can't stress it enough. Tonight marks the 10th flight for this particular first stage. This is a record for our Falcon 9 rocket's life cycle. Ooh. This particular booster first debuted on our Crew Demo 1 mission just over a year ago. Now, reusability is critical to what we do at SpaceX. This fact that we can reuse our first stages, it allows us to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the ultimate cost to space access. And although this is the 10th time for this rocket, we first reused the normal orbital class rocket on the SES-10 mission back in March of 2017. It just goes to show how far we've come since then. We're about a minute away from that entry burn beginning. That burn should last for about 20 seconds. seconds away from that first stage entry burn igniting the center engine will ignite at first two more engines will ignite shortly after that the merlins on this first stage Ooh, are optimized there, to operate at sea level and they no, achieve about maybe. 190,000 pounds of thrust a piece during ascent and descent can't tell if that's entry burn or not yep that was entry burn oh because it was that little yeah I saw it Seconds away from the entry burn. Yeah, one below the horizon. Yeah. I saw it. Stage one it entry burn started. All of a sudden it was a little red. You can see it. that plume is starting yeah, to expand there it is. as the other two engines spot. Begin That's to it. There it is. Yeah. It's right, it's coming through the Milky Way. Mm-hmm. I see it. Holy oh, shit. That's cool. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there you go. The entry burn has successfully ended. Look at it go. And now we're just a little more than a minute and a half away from the final burn. Continue to follow. Don't know if you have the glasses and see better. I can see Not it better. Really. <laughs> oh, really? Now, for those of you who follow along with SpaceX, you know that the soot that you see on a rocket indicates it's been flown before. Uh, here's an explanation of how that soot forms and why that first stage is so dirty in this case. Uh, the rocket grade kerosene, RP-1, uh, that, Falcons, that powers Falcon 9 is carbon-based, and when you burn it, it creates soot. Uh, now, as we approach the landing site, like you saw just now, that That's long cool. entry burn slows the vehicle down. This far like this. And since we come in engines first, the booster flies through its own plume and exhaust. They still want to train it on it. And if you watch the feed, like you saw just there, you saw that soot starting to fly up and stick to the lens. We're only about 20 seconds away from that landing burn starting. And also during that time, our four landing legs will deploy. While that single engine is firing to help us safely land on just read the instructions. Stage one, landing burn startup. Yeah, that was a shock. See if there are landing burns begun. Hopefully, we can change the engine. So, our second engine will come off shortly after this landing attempt. Stage one, landing leg deployed. And Miko. Or Seiko. What? Engine cut off. I was going to say it's gone. It disappeared. 